Blessings, family, much love. How you doing today? Hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. I know I am. It's been a exciting rush lately. Lots going on. A little bit confusing trying to wrangle all of it and puzzle all of it between kids' school schedules and social goings-ons, work things chronic things, upcoming fun stuff, but I'm thankful for all of it in usual fashion. It's all beautiful. It's all going forward. So, just wanted to share with you today a little chronic update and just update on our goings-ons in general. Had a wonderful class, mushroom foraging class last weekend with uh, many friends of the forest found many species of mushrooms it was fun we found gotta go under my fence again hawk wings porcinis chanterelles um amanitas uh, uh albatrellus um uh, i'm trying to think there's quite a number of balls and oh the usual suspects, so to speak. We had a grand time. Looking forward to our upcoming uh, class this weekend. We're going to be doing mushroom log cultivation, cultivating oysters on Aspen. Going to share some mushroom-inspired dishes and wisdom about their medicinal benefits and ability for bioremediation. I want to send my heart out to the Amazon rainforest right now. It is burning at the moment. Let's all send our prayers for the whole Earth Mother that that fire goes out soon because that is a very key part of all of our life. Oxygen comes from that and diatoms, basically, that are part of that whole system in the Amazon River Basin. So, God bless Brazil and the Amazon right now. Also, just, yeah, want to share my things going on with my own self. And, you know, we have our upcoming retreat with Eli Tamalameen, our Desert Chronic Retreat. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, like, getting all the details together. Got ideas about medicinal teas and, and broths and smoothies and juice recipes. All kinds of stuff about Ayurveda and the Four Elements. Gonna do forest bathing, forest qigong, meditation, fasting. It's gonna be grand. Play drums. Maybe go to some hot springs or some stuff. I'm excited about that. And my personal path on that, I've been eating a little bit more as of lately. It's interesting at the height of summer, I got there or had a month straight of dry fasting. 22 hours a day with just like a couple few juices and things and that was good now I'm back to my usual uh, sort of juices and broths and a daily little bit of like seaweed or uh, maybe some crackers or something it's this whole thing of like these different sorts of satieties we need salty crunchy one of these things for frustrations you know, I had a lot going on, a lot of stress. So, you know, I just accept it. It's also the descending time of the year in Ayurveda right now. Uh, the sun is getting, you know, to be less and less. The energy is less and less. And so we're moving into, you know, fall. Uh, and it's naturally be the time to start stocking up and getting ready for hibernation. And this is part of the way I understand this breatharian thing works, at least for me, is to go with the rhythm of it. If I feel like eating today, I eat. I strive for the best possible, you know, what I'm going for. And I forgive myself every time that I feel like doing otherwise. Because it's not about punishment or puritanism. It's actually about building your life so much, feeling so good, feeling so healthy, taking such good care that uh, your energies, you know, you're not like 
letting negative people in your life who are bleeding off your energy, you know, you're not training yourself needlessly in situations, different cycles that we run through because you've purged them from your mind and your body through fasting and through meditation primarily and it's like you just practice this fasting thing as much as possible as best you can and keep it as juicy and fun and loving as possible it actually just grows I've been a little too punitive with myself a little too hard I'm kind of like that on my Aries so I like to go pretty full bore I'm actually a quadruple Aries I got Sun, Moon, Venus and Mercury and Aries so um, kind of a warrior of the light I like to think of it uh, angel of fire uh, and we're all angels uh, we all have our angles you know we all have our stars and the ways in which we chose to be show up in this world the day that we were born we chose our angles and in balance we're all angels and out of balance we're all kind of like demons or something right I mean we go muck making shit bad so that's where Wu Wei comes in how many times have you meddled in something and made things worse and learning that discernment you know of when to back off when to go forward you know in natural flow with your diet, with your choices, with your life. So that's been my meditation lately. What I'm working with, I feel like us working, all of us individually working on our inner stuff, our whatever process, whether it's your pranic process or you're just like biohacking or you're like just taking care of yourself or meditating or doing, you want to ascend or you want to activate your pineal gland or whatever you're doing, like I think it's important that you do it. You know, it's been important for me and and in terms of like the health and well-being of the whole planet. I love this adage of the Buddha. If we could make one person in this world happy and that was ourselves, this whole world would be at peace. We didn't go around trying to make everyone else happy and fix everything. There's nothing broken. So, I think as a permaculturalist who's been studying nature and ways to regenerate the earth. I'm very interested and active in that. But I see how much could be done by us just slowing down and doing less. The earth will heal itself. The earth has its own wisdom, just like your own body. And that's what this pranic thing is about too. Your body knows how to grab energy from the earth, how to grab it from the air, how to grab it from the you know electromagnetic spectrum that you're just bathing in. Um, and it's all a thing of calming the mind and building the practice and taking care. Um, so, yeah, that's what's up with me. Um, thanks for sharing your time with me. I appreciate it. I want to offer my experience in this going forward and opening up of breatharianism or whatever it is as hopefully helpful guideposts for other humans. You know, that word human come, refers to the fact that we have this multidimensional aspect of our mind, this chakra system, many colored rainbows. You know, all the colors of the rainbow, all the hues of the spectrum. We exist on in multiple realities at once. And so it's kind of tricky. So our meditation helps harmonize. And that's been my main medicine lately. I've been studying herbalism for so many years and I love it, but it's really kind of a relief to just know that you're the medicine. <laughs> so thank you for being the medicine. Keep showing up and being the medicine and I will too. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Ciao bless.